I'm driving to my grandmother's house. Actually, I'm driving to my parents' house in Alex City, and then we're gonna ride together to my grandmother's in Georgia. Oh, welcome to Katy, Narnia, where I vlog from the middle of nowhere, Alabama. Hey, y'all. <laughs> you remember that time I visited my grandmother in Georgia? If not, if you really care to even go back and look at that video, it's right here. Check it, check it, check it out. See ya on the flip side. I don't even know what that means. Good afternoon. I am confused because I don't know where my family is. I went to sleep around 11 p.m. last night, but I was really restless. I'm a light sleeper, so I was tossing and turning all night. In here, on the sofa. So I didn't really get any sleep last night, and then around seven or eight, I got to crawl into my parents' bed because they got up, and I shut the door, and I got my white noise going, and then I slept from eight to 2 p.m. I don't know, I feel really tired, really out of it right now. And nobody's here, and I don't know where anybody is, so I'm gonna just walk around and try to find somebody. And if nobody's here, then I'll just, something. My sunglasses are in the car, and the car is gone, so I got these out of my mom's purse, and they don't fit over my glasses. Look, it's Sadie, remember Sadie? Hi. You guys, I feel horrible. I don't feel well right now. I know I should be filming my family and introducing you to everybody, but I feel awful. So I thought that I would take this opportunity to do something that I was gonna do last time I started to feel sick, but never quite felt sick enough to do. And it was something that I was planning on doing with another YouTuber whose name is Stefan. He's so funny. Please check out his channel. I'm gonna put it right here. We basically came up with these really funny questions to answer about our illness, and so I thought, why don't I do that now, since I can't bring you on this adventure journey with me to enjoy my time here in Georgia. I am so lame right now. Number one, how do you think you got sick? I took some herbal sleeping medication to fall asleep earlier than I'm used to falling asleep, and that actually worked, but then I kept waking up because, you know, as I showed you before, it happened to things, and then, bad, that's how. What are your symptoms? Um, I feel like it takes a lot of energy just to breathe. I'm having a hard time standing up right now. In between cuts, I'm actually sitting down and taking a break right here on this little bed next to me. I feel like my eyes just wanna seal shut. They're like heavy and wanna just go to sleep. And I have a little bit of a headache. I just feel really fatigued, exhausted, and I wanna sleep all day. How high is your fever? I don't have a fever. Goodness gracious how grateful I am I don't have a fever because I hate sweating. Describe what you're feeling right now. Oh, I kind of did that with the symptoms one. Oops. I feel like I got bashed in the face with... I can't even finish the sentence. <laughs> I feel horrible. What are you doing as an attempt to fight it? Well, I had some chocolate, <laughs> dark chocolate, and I had some kombucha <laughs> and I'm gonna take a nap I think. My mom made me pancakes for breakfast. Blueberry pancakes. What would you be doing right now if you weren't sick? I'd be outside hanging out with everybody and I'd be helping with all the work that they're doing and I would probably be taking you guys on a tour and I don't know if I said probably with them but you know what that's just what you're gonna have to have for now. My very tired speech. So yeah, I'd be running around and having a lot of fun with my family. I might even have taken out one of those old bicycles and ridden down to the old church. Walk down the dirt road, you know, things. Visit some cows. There are so many things I could be doing if I felt okay. If you had to name one thing you love about being sick, what would it be? My mom made me pancakes for breakfast. If you could give your sickness to one celebrity, who would it be and why? Wait, is that really the question? Sorry, I don't like wishing illnesses on people. I don't know, I think we came up with that question because we were going to do one that was, uh... see how hard it is? I bet I'm giving you a hard time breathing, just listening to me try to breathe. How about if you had to give your sickness to one celebrity? Because I wouldn't willingly, I can't speak, I wouldn't willingly give my sickness to anyone. But, let's see. I'm doing a really bad job. If I had to give my illness to a celebrity, I don't know, Donald Trump. If you could trade this illness for a full week of A, having itchy rubber feet, or B, constant hiccups, 
or C, a constant burning sensation when you urinate, which would you choose? Well, if I could be healthy otherwise and have lots of energy otherwise, I guess. Burning sensation when I urinate? I think I could learn to deal with that. I don't want itchy feet. If you could personify your illness, how would you describe him or her? It would be this giant, heavy blob with only like a couple of little tiny holes for breathing and it's going up a hill and right when it gets to the top of the hill it just kind of rolls down and it has to do it all over again. It's just this big, giant, heavy blob and it's a big, dark brownish, dark, almost black blob of blobbiness and even if a feather falls on it, it's like, oh, this is too heavy, you know? It's a blob. A big, gross, monster blob that just wants to crawl into a swamp and go to sleep. Okay, well, I really appreciate you guys just being so supportive and understanding why I couldn't take you on this amazing adventure that I'm on and why I couldn't even take myself on it. Them's the perks of Lyme disease. For those of you who don't know, I was 11 years undiagnosed and so I've got symptoms that I'm gonna be battling for the rest of my life, but that's okay, because I've still got this and my craziness. Thanks so much for watching and as always, have yourselves a pleasant morning, day, afternoon, evening, night, forever. Goodbye. I'm gonna go right over here and take a nap. Nap time. It's for me. Bye. Hello, this is KT's inner blob asking for you to subscribe. So, you know, for every new subscription, I'll feel a little better. For every thumbs up this video gets, I'll feel a little better too. So, you know, do it, cause I don't feel well. And you know what? You're probably seeing this on Tuesday instead of Monday, cause it's, you know, this is what happens when you're sick for a while, you know? Because, you know, things, I mean, it happens, cause, you know, I don't like, I don't like it. Bye.